Hi, my name is Kyron, and I am somebody. So, Kyron, how are you today? Uh, I'm straight, man. I'm good. That's what's up. So, tell me about yourself. Who is Kyron? Oh, uh, man, who is Kyron? That's honestly something uh, I can say I'm still figuring, like, who am I? Uh, I'm not sounding big headed. I'm I'm great. I'm I'm myself. I'm I'm love and I'm loving, but I'm still figuring out. Like even early adulthood, I'm still figuring out who I am. Honestly. Yeah, it's a process, ain't it? Yeah, bro, man, bro. <laughs> I, you learn that you just you be stuff that you're doing. You don't even know you really want to do it, bro. Right. Who is who is Kyron? Who does Kyron want to be? Kyron want to be. Honestly, man, dang, that's a deep question. Kyron wants to be just somebody who who have no regrets. Um, you know, might be looked at as bad some people, good for some people, but Kyron wants to be just a person who lived their life to the fullest that they could. That's that's honestly who I want to be. In which ways do you plan on doing that? Man, um... Really not having nobody living for myself, honestly. Like, and what I mean by that, I mean it's it's really straightforward. Living for myself, uh, really having to be selfish with my life, I would say, because you know it's it's only gonna go how you make it. So I don't really want nobody else or nobody else's uh, opinions or anything else to like kind of lead me to live in a way that I'm not comfortable in, you feel me? Like, I, I just want to be myself. Right. Just live my life. Tell me, what was life for you growing up? Uh, okay. Growing up, man, honestly, I had a good, I had a good childhood. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, shout out to my parents. My parents, they, we were not rich, but we were not poor. I would definitely say middle class with its, like, you know, just regular struggles, but I can say, like, my parents, they did a good job uh, raising me. I'm uh, the youngest child of two. Um, they, my parents are working class people, you know, good people in the world. Uh, they're together <laughs> still to this day. They've, they've always been together. You know, I was in their wedding when I was four type deal. Um, they, you know, this, this home growing up was, was a lot of support. Um, you know, they, my parents themselves like pushed both me and my brother to do whatever we want, whether it was like sports, art, dancing. I swear to God, I used to be in a dancing class, bro. I, <laughs> you see it, the dancing I, bro, class. I, I wanted to break dance when I was a kid. <laughs> I wanted to break dance, but nah, they they definitely like gave us a good life. You know, my dad, he like it's funny because like my parents are like the I would say like the like American dream or something. Not really, but like. Like my dad is very handy, so he can build pretty much anything. Like he's remodeled our house, swear to God, three times on his own, on his own. Like not hiring workers, he he does that. So it's like, uh, yeah. So that's cool. And then my mom, she just you know, cool mom, work, yell at you, cook. Uh, you know they they cool. They they some cool friends. So like growing up, honestly, was was not hard. You know we struggled from, from time to time, but. For the most part, growing up was fun. You know, I got to experience a lot. Uh, got to get in a lot of things that I'm interested in at an early age, you know, with no uh, judgment from my parents, I would say. Can't speak for the rest of my family, but like my parents and in her home, it was it was decent, it was cool. Sounds like having two parents and having a two-parent household really blessed you and making you who you are. It definitely did. Uh, I got to see, um, I got to see what it's like to work. I got to see what it's like to not work, but make things happen. I got to see, uh, honestly, what a real love is, you know? Like, I, mean, I still make my, mistake, make my mistakes on that, but I, I honestly got to see, like, how a real love should be. And, you know, it's not always peaches and cream all the time, but it's it's support and being there. Like, I got to really see that fairy tale, real love. and. That's probably one of the biggest things that's like this generation don't really like yeah. like like that I guess or like they're afraid to do and me myself shit I'm afraid to do that shit too so I ain't gonna lie but uh it definitely it definitely helps and keep you blessed because you get best of both worlds you know like 
in the house. Uh, it was never a time where like, I can never say my dad or my mom was not there for me. So like, shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. When y'all see this, shout out to y'all. <laughs> what do you feel like your life purpose is? Uh, my life purpose, man. You know, I ain't never thought about that until now. But I, I kind of feel like it's to let like people make people smile because it's a. Uh, it's something I'm good at, like, I'm not trying to do my own horn, but I'm funny. Like, I'm hilarious, bro. <laughs> and, like, I just, you know, being myself and, like, not even being intentionally funny, but just making people feel good about themselves and and feel good in general. Like, I mean, there's so much bad things going on in this world, so, like, I feel like my purpose here was to at least give somebody something to, like, feel good about, you know, be that positive energy in their life. That's, you know? a, that's a good, good purpose to... Uh, try to achieve because a lot of negative things happen in this world and I think there needs to be more people who live that life of you know just trying to make other people happy and make other people smile yeah. so yeah I commend you on that it's too it's just bro it's too much bad stuff going on out here so it's like why be that why you never know what somebody's going through so why be that negative thing for them you know you rather you, you could save somebody's life by just being nice to them like for a second swear to god so yeah. And we've all heard stories of that happening. So it's, you know, wake up with a smile on your face. Or even if even if my day is bad, never take that out on somebody else. You know, you, somebody is, is, if your day is bad, somebody's having the worst day than you. I promise you somebody's having the worst day than you. Right. I promise. It's, it's, it's real out here. <laughs> right. How do you maintain a positive energy? Uh... By, I would say, by kind of knowing that things could be bad, but they could be worse, and things is always going to get better. Like, pain is temporary, honestly. You know, shout out to Ben Davis Football, because, you know, it's little things I took off from that, from always hearing, pain is temporary, you know, you're tired. But <laughs> really knowing pain and, and the downs in life is only temporary. Like, you're going to have to go through downs to come up. So... Even when something bad happened, I always think like, you know, I'm gonna go to sleep, do it again tomorrow, it's gonna be better. And off of my own experiences, that's, it, it gets better. It gets better. It, it only gets worse as, it only gonna get as bad as you make it. And it's only gonna get as good as you make it. So when something bad happened, you know, of course I'm human. I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna um, not, I'm gonna like, um, I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna feel some type of way and stuff. But at the end of the day, I know it'll be better. It'll be cool. You know, life goes on. You can't mobile. You can't be mad all day. You right. that's 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 not healthy. <laughs> Literally. Right. You said life goes on. What are the three biggest things that keep you going in this life? Uh, three biggest things. Honestly, f uh, my brand, uh, Hood Faded. That's one of the biggest things that kind of keep me going because um, that's something that I created myself. Uh, it's a lifestyle I created, a brand. Um, it's just everything came organic with that. So it that's something that I can like would say gave me a, it's gonna sound cheesy, but it gave me a purpose to like live. Type of, like That was something I made when I was 18. And when I was 18, I'm not the same person I was when I was eight, like, I'm 23 now, so when I was 18, I was different, you know, careless, living careless, reckless, uh, just living life, you know, having fun. I don't regret none of it. It was fun. It was great. I'm still here. I lived, you know what I mean? Like, I had great experiences, but it was like, I had a lot of great experiences, but I had a lot of bad experiences when I was 18 too, and like 19 and around those times. So like, you know, when it was, when I had, a, when I was in a real, real dark spots in life and, and it felt like there was no light, you know, Hood Faded was the one thing that kept me, you know, going. You know, people saying they, like, yeah, I like what you're doing, where, you know, that that feels good to you. So it's like, this is this is something that I can be great at. You know, I want to do something in life and this could take me there. So that would be one of my uh, biggest things. I say second uh, would probably be my family, as far as like my inner family, like my house family, like those are just, you know, it's, of course it's your family, but like on a different level, I really do want to just do good for them and, you know, make 
make my parents proud, you know, make my brother proud, you know, do all that, take care of them and just live, make sure that we're like all straight, you know, which is it's possible. I just want to make sure, I can't make sure everybody's just happy, but on my end, I can make sure, you know, they're good. And, hmm, probably I would say the third thing, my biggest thing to keep pushing, uh, I mean, I would say myself. Like, I like the, uh, I just like, I'm very, very big on self-care and loving yourself, I guess, because people, people mean, bro. Like, people mean, the world is mean, everything is mean, so you gotta love yourself, you know, like, like, you just gotta, I know I'm not, like, a 10, but in my eyes, bro, I'm a thousand. You know what I mean? Like, I was real, for real, for real, I'm a thousand. Cause if my self-confidence is there, like you can never tear me down because you know, I grew up getting bullied and stuff. Uh, just, you know, any other kid or any other like bully kid or whatever. But you know, some people, they take that and they're like, they hate the world cause of that. But it's like me, I, you know, I'm more of like a, that's not true. <laughs> like you could call me ugly growing up, but in my mind, I'm, that's not true. You feel me? Like <laughs> you're ugly, but you feel me? It's more like we can go just for jokes or whatever. Like it's, yeah. it never really hurt me. So honestly, myself is just a big, big, big. It's a mind over matter thing, and like my mind honestly is just too strong for me to, to, to stop. Right. Like now, you know, it's a lot. It's life. It's a lot of life out here. Yeah. If you could talk to that kid that was getting bullied, you those years back when you were getting bullied, what'd you tell yourself? I would have told myself, like, man, like, bro, open your eyes, because what they're saying literally is not true. Like, uh, I could say when I was getting bullied back in the day, uh, it does do something to, to your mental where, like, you're looking at yourself like me. Growing up, I was always, like, my, I was the big son, but I wasn't never, like, the big son, for real, for real. Like, I was just bigger than most kids, you know. I had muscles and stuff, cause like when I was born, uh, I couldn't use my right arm. So my parents, they had to like work that arm out and until I could use it. So I had muscles, like sort of, I had muscles when I was a kid. Cause once I started using them, you know, they using weights and stuff. So like I had muscles. So I was like, I was a cocky little kid, but you know, the kids, that doesn't mean it's fat. <laughs> You're fat. <laughs> that, so, like, you know, being called fat every day, like I said, it didn't really do nothing to me, but it did, like, as much as you can, like, like I can say, like, you know, I didn't, that's not true, you know, who cares, but it still also do something, you're a kid, it does something in the back of your head, in your mind, where you're thinking, like, maybe I am fat or something, yeah. so, like, when I would look in the mirror, I really would see fat, but, you know, I look at pictures, and I'm just like, wait a minute. I would kill to get back to that size, bro. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> bro, I was, what, bro? Oh, my God. Like, I was in the best shape of my life. Like, even throughout high school, you know, it, it definitely didn't bother me as much as when I was a kid. But still, you know, people would call me fat. So, it's like, looking at pictures back then, I'm like, bro, I was lifting weights. So I was like, like, wow, I was fit. So, I would tell my little kid stuff, like, bro, like, just look in the mirror. And embrace it, like embrace yourself, cause I promise when you get older, like you're just you're in for a wild ride for real. For like when I was a kid, I remember I was like just quiet, a little shy to myself uh, until you got to know me. You know I'm wild and all that, but I was a little shy to myself, and like I was like one of those kids that used to be like, what if I grow up like. I was one of those boys like, what if I grew up and didn't get girls? Like, what if I grew up and people didn't like? Like, what if that happens? It's like all those worries growing up. I would tell myself, like, don't even worry about that. Because, like, bro, you're going to have, like, a great, like, you're going to have a great time in life when you get older. Like, when things really make sense to you, you're going to have a great time. You're going to do some great things that not a lot of people do, you know? You think that kid will be proud of who you are today? Oh, definitely, most definitely. Oh, that kid would, bro. What I'd be his superhero, <laughs> like for real. For like, I would just, I, I remember like, the kid in me changed. I swear, after my first kiss, <laughs> my first kiss is when I like I grew balls, bro. <laughs> like I became like I was myself before, but like when I got my first kiss, I swear to God, like all the thoughts of not getting girls, I'm, I'm there. 
<laughs> I'm there. Females is there. <laughs> but like, am I gonna have friends and stuff? Started getting friends. Started realizing like I'm actually a like normal kid. You know, I ain't gotta. And not saying like the kids who don't have friends. No, you're. It's not. You're not normal. You feel me? You just yourself. But I was more. I was more as a kid thinking of like the am I gonna be popular or something? Which is nothing to really, who cares about any of that? Like who cares about any of that? But I was really worried about all that growing up and I, by the time like middle school came and I didn't really care no more. And it was like, it just naturally came. That's why I'm like, I would tell my kids self, don't even worry. Cause it's literally gonna, you're not even gonna try and it's gonna come. So like, you just live your life, bro. Be happy. That's some great advice. <laughs> If you had a chance to tell the whole world something to all 7.8 billion people in the world, and your face is on everybody's TVs, phone, your voice is coming through the radio, what would you say? Sit down, relax, take a breath, take a deep breath, and just think. Just think about everything that's going on right now in life, uh, as far as laws, wars, uh, politics, just everything. Just sit back and think. And like hug whoever, hug the closest person to you right then and there, even if they're a stranger, because like life is real and a lot of us just take it for granted. We don't really like think about it. Like, you know, some of us woke up, some of us went to sleep 15 and woke up 32. Like, because life just went past us like that because we're thinking about everything too much instead of just thinking about yourself and what you want to do, you know, like, think for yourself, uh, love yourself and love your people, for real, for real, love, your, love yourself and love your people, stay hood faded, because, I mean, that's honestly what the hood faded lifestyle is, so just, I would tell everybody, just sit back, chillax, love your people, hug your people, and do you. That's Thank a you. great advice. I thank you for all your time here today. And I do wish you the most success with everything that you want in life. Hey. And I promise you, you'll get there. Especially if you keep that positive energy, keep that positive mentality. Look at the life or the world as if you could do anything that you want to do. And I'm sure you already know that you can do it. Come on now, bro. From that, from that little kid to who you are today. Remember how that kid felt. And think about how that kid will feel looking at who you are today. And how you're making things happen to make your dreams turn into reality. And I promise you that you will not feel regretted at all the decisions that you make. Man, bro. We all somebody, bro. For that's real, a, bro. That's a fact. We all somebody. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. For sure, man.